to eat Big Brother. <laughs> yeah, why did they never wax him? <laughs> Oh, that was a missed opportunity. Ah, so someone new, I think. Anonymous listener. Ooh. Uh, oh. No, it's fine. <laughs> I, think, I think it's fine. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, no, me too. What now? Me too. I hate... <laughs> Hashtag me too. CBB pre-finale thought. I hate... Hold on, are they just not saying who they are then? No, just they're anonymous saying listener. anonymous listener. I mean, I've got, I could read their email out, but that would be a bit of breach of trust. No, don't do that. Um... I hate, hate, hate how obvious it is that Ryan Thomas is going to win this series. Mm. Oh, now I'm wondering, wondering, wondering if I've put fuel on the wrong fire. You have. Um, the only scenario he doesn't win is that he gets Susan Boyled, meaning the viewers <laughs> assume that uh, he's already yeah. won. Good point. Very good point. That is a and very, very good reality television observation very there. And point. I like the cross-reference like, in like, Anonymous uh, Listener. Also, like Will Young and Gareth Gates, if you don't want to go back. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Yep. I think you better leave right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, <laughs> they don't bother to spend their 50p on Ryan. Also, with Rodrigo being banned from the finale and Roxanne quitting, how empty will the rap party be? Mm. Maybe Gaz can go to the finale again and get some exclusive interviews. Yes. Maybe Chelsea Singh will send you a free DVD copy of his movie. <laughs> but probably not. <laughs> Lol. Is that it? Yeah. That was good. Now, I haven't planned to go to the final, but we were going to watch it together. But should we try to get to the studio? I can't. That's my first day in my new job. It's on a mon- Is it on a Monday? Yeah, you can go if you want. I can't. No, but then we split the team and it's not I cool. don't mind. If you want to go and get an exclusive, you can, but I can't. Hmm... That's I too, think it's better that we watch it together. That's too much drama for one day. And also, you've had a you've got you've had a few exclusives this year already. This season, you've had Stacey Francis, you had Chelsea Singh. That's it, isn't it? You on box? Me on box? Me watching TV on my own, getting drunk. <laughs> Joseph's been in touch. Hey, guys and Hey, Lins. Joseph. Don't worry, this will be short <laughs> and tight. Email feedback. Oh, short and tight. Oh. It is actually. He's right. One, love the civilian BBKI. Mm, I'm not bothered. Two, would you two agree the whole Roxy slash Ryan situation is comparable to the Shilpa slash Jade yes, controversy in very. retrospect that everyone was talking about? Joseph, if you've been <laughs> listening, my, if you've been reading my tweets, you'll be aware that I do already think that. Yeah, and I know you read my tweets, so probably know that answer that already. <laughs> and plus the past five hours of this podcast, but you hadn't heard that yet. I couldn't help but just look at all the different interviews that occurred on Monday from different people talking about it. Uh, even though I was getting annoyed with Roxanne, it was riveting TV to mm. see her dig herself even lower. Mm. Do you guys believe that she really went to the Jeremy Vi- on the Jeremy Vine show on her own accord and ignoring her management and her family that she should not be interviewed? No. I haven't heard that. I do not believe and... it. I haven't heard it, but I don't believe it. I'm sure her agent well, foisted her on. Yeah, it doesn't bother me anyway. She's... She's done it. She's chosen to do it. It was her first outlet. It's Channel Five a strategic mm. decision. Mm. They're just trying to fuel their milk the cow, get an audience to that show and whatever. Isn't it? It's just television. Um, <laughs> anyways, can't wait for the next pod. Joseph, the radiographer. Oh, get you, Joseph. Well, I thought it was Joseph from Las Vegas. Oh, he's moved up in the world. Who's this? I don't know. Oh, no, what? Stop else. it. You're no, no, it's out. something we signed up for called... Oh, yeah, I know. It's something to do with Patreon. Discord? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what it is. I was trying to, I was trying to work out Patreon, but I was so confused. I need help. I need an admin assistant. Uh, no, not going to... We No, not reading that. That's about USA, sort of, in a roundabout kind of way, but not really. Uh, it's actually about Survivor from oh. Melissa Bot. Um, oh, Anthony again. Anthony, we've already had one. Um, well, this is a short one. Okay. So he's been back in touch again via bbonblast.com. Mm, don't why I doesn't just send us an email? Mm, just, if you're on bbonblast.com, why not just hit just that send us a donate tenor. button? <laughs> I mean, truth is, I can't afford to do this anymore. So if you want it, you're going to have to keep start donating. Well, aren't do you? you know why we ain't done a podcast in eight days? Because Gaz can't afford to get around here. Exactly. That's why. <laughs> um, BB UK scheduling. Morning, guys. Okay, uh, <laughs> I've just realised why Civilian BB won't have any Saturday episodes. Because oh yeah, have you heard that? Yeah, I Not have that, heard that. Man. What? There was a time when Big Brother didn't have I Saturday do episodes. It was shit. It was absolutely shit. I mean, I don't agree with it either. It's bollocks. So anyway, he says it's yeah. because um, Strictly Come Dancing is on Saturday nights. 
trying to go up Strictly on Saturdays is suicidal. So we've got catch up TV. Strictly for old grannies. I don't think there's. In this day and age, you can't use scheduling as an excuse because half the people don't watch it live anyway. Hmm. Ratings will get hammered like Hardeep's chicken, he says. <laughs> Love the show. I'm off to work now. Oh, all right. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's the emails. Oh, that was a lot of emails. That's nice, though, isn't it? Well, you got good big brother. You got good emails. I feel bad about the BB20 stuff now, though. What are we going to do? Well, I watched about. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> I think I watched four episodes into the night last night. Maybe three or four episodes. Three or four. I fell asleep on the, the battle back. Mm. I woke up this morning, couldn't, mm. couldn't even remember what the competition was. <laughs> Did remember who got in. Um, mm. So, I don't know. Do we can, what do you want to let's, do? Blast let's, through it somewhere? Let, let's finish this and we'll have a talk about if there's a way we can speed do it. If not, we'll have to come back to it. I think we could very easily speed Okay. Speed it. Well, let's wrap this one up because this is five hours and 21 minutes. Fucking <laughs> hell, guys. That is definitely, the, that's probably the longest podcast of all time. We're probably in the Guinness Book of Records. You know what we right need now. for this? A code word. What? If you got this far. Yeah. We, we haven't done that for so we? long. What could our code word be? It's got to be related to Big Brother, no? Um, <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Um, Fucking hell. I know. What was that word that uh, was uh, that Julie girl tweet said to Arissa? Um, struggle bus. How about that? Oh yeah. They said they were on the struggle bus With their about impressions. something. Yeah. yeah. This uh, struggle bus is the word if yeah. you got this far because that's right. such a weird word. No one's going to remember it. Yeah, struggle bus. It is. I like that. It was a nice word. It was. In, it was a, Arissa liked it too. Yeah, it was good. So struggle bus if you got this far. This was a struggle bus. <laughs> yeah. You could tell like after the show we just went plummeting. My, Your voice was gone. My throat is absolutely killing. I'm. I'm not going to be able to speak tomorrow. I start my new job on Monday. I'm going to die. I'm going to start with no voice. I'm just going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you got this far, God bless you. We love you. Who do you think is going to win? CBV? Ryan. You voted for Ryan Square. Vote Nick. I wouldn't mind Nick winning. He ain't going to win though, is he? Oh, mate, he might do. It might be a surprise. That's Susan Boyle. Um, I just, yeah, I just think, you know, <coughs> the main storyline this series is Roxanne versus Ryan. Mm. It's like the sort of logical ending. Mm. It's the Shilpa rising from the racism row. Mm. Ryan's raising, rising from the attempt to trash his entire being. Mm. That's the way I'm wanting to see it go. Guys, if Dan Osborne wins, I'm leaving the country. Exactly. <laughs> at least. <laughs> At least we can be certain right, uh, Dan Osborne won't win it. I don't want a Jim Davidson moment all over again, so think on listeners. None of our listeners would vote for Dan Osborne anyway, but, you know. But, like, you, you can't follow Courtney Act winning with something like that, can you? It's got to be the right outcome this year. Please, God. Thank you so much for listening. Follow me on Twitter, light up VM. Follow me on Twitter, BB underscore superfan. You can watch my videos for the past two days of BB... On face, our Facebook be on blast page. <laughs> Why are you laughing about that? That's a lot of work in there. Three hours work. Um, you can watch Gaz's bots videos on our oh, YouTube, YouTube page. Channel. Page, channel. Whatever the fuck. What subscribe, else? like and subscribe, like and share. Like follow our BB on blast Twitter account. Read my book, First Aid Kit Girl. There may be some BB twenty coverage to come. Who fucking knows? Thanks for this. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Bye. See you for the final. Uh, we're going to watch the final together on Monday. Woo!